Welcome to Picture Healer channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about some fortune telling methods that's very popular in Taiwan and many Southeast Asian countries. And they are related to visiting temples, asking questions, and find answers through different methods. For many people, this is an easier way to find answers to their life questions. If you are not into the temple culture, it might sound like a mystery to you. Here I will give you a rundown of the basic procedure. First, you have to visit the temple. And the temple is usually related to the question you have in mind. And the second, you have to pray and uh, ask your questions. And the third is to use the fortune telling method of each temple. Usually involves picking up a fortune stick and confirm with a pair of crescent shaped blocks. And then finally, after your pick is approved, you will pick out the poem based on the number of the fortune stick and then interpret the message of the poem. And that's how you find the answer to your question. The first step is to find the right temple. Every temple has different god or goddess. So you have to pick the right temple based on the questions you like to answer. Some people have a closer connection to certain gods or certain temples. So this step can be very subjective. Two very popular temples in Taiwan. One is for the Guan Gong and the other one is for Guan Yin. The Guan Gong is the god of justice and the loyalty. Since he is related to the leader of a war, he is usually holding some weapon and he has a red face. So if you need protection, strength, and the power, Guan Gong is the god you can visit and ask for help. And one very famous temple for Guan Gong is the Xing Tian Gong in Taipei. The other very popular goddess is called the Guan Yin, or the God of Mercy. You can usually find sculpture of Guan Yin with a thousand hands and a thousand eyes, because that's the symbols of helping and hearing the people who need help. The Guan Yin will hear you and respond no matter where you are or your social status. So we call her the goddess of compassion. And one famous Guan Yin temple in Taipei is called the Long Shan Si. Once you visit temple, pray and ask questions, you can ask for guidance with the fortune sticks. You just pick up a stick and then you can confirm with the crescent-shaped blocks, usually in the red color and made of wood. If the block shows one facing up and one facing down, that means a yes. And this will be the right fortune stick for your question. Once it's confirmed, you can check the number of the poem corresponding to the numbers on your fortune sticks. And then you can interpret the poem and find the message to your question. The points for the Guan Yin system and the Guan Gong systems are very different. Both have a hundred poems, and you can find the books and the interpretations in the bookstore if you want to know more. I'm not sure if they have any good English translation, but they do have Chinese books available. And sometimes you can even find the cards. Another fortune telling system is uh, Yi Jing divination. And this can be very similar to the previous two systems. 
but instead of related to a certain god or goddess, Yi Jing is more universal. And it's easier to find the related books and even some Yi Jing cards. So if you cannot go to a temple, you can always check Yi Jing books and cast your own hexagram and interpret the poems from the 64 hexagrams. There are many different types of fortune tally methods, and I believe there's no right or wrong type. You might feel connection to certain methods more, and you can find your answer easily. Then you can stick with that method. The purpose of this type of fortune telling, either by visiting the temple or doing it at home, by casting your Yi Jing hexagram, they can help you adjust yourself and see your life situation from a new perspective. And by consulting a different voice, you can gain more strength and support so you can make a better decision and prepare yourself for the future outcome. So this can be like a therapy. It can be good for your mental health if you don't overdo it. The point is not just about predicting the future correctly. It's more of looking at your own situation, analyze your position, and clear your mind, and look at possibilities. It's about preparing your mind for the unknown future, so you feel more confident and feel stronger to face any outcome. I hope you find this video interesting. Thank you so much for watching and talk to you next time.